I'm Melissa and today I'm going to show you the Haas rope walking system. It's an SRT system, which means it's a stationary rope technique system. In SRT systems, you need either a canopy anchor or a basal anchor. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm only going to show you a basal anchor. This is the snake basal anchor. You bring the running end of the anchor around the tree and back through this red ring here. Once you have it through, you put the carabiner through one of the slits in the anchor. See the stitching here? It's on every slit around the entire anchor. That's because if you were to break the stitching here, it would catch you on the next set of stitching. When you look at your carabiner, the gate should be facing out when you bring the rig up to the tree. You should always make sure that the gold side of the rig or the flat surface is facing the tree for safety reasons. The gate should be facing out also for safety reasons. Once you have your base linker set up, you need to install your access line. With the Haas SRT system, you first need to bring the end of your rope up just over the crotch. Don't bring it back down right away. Before you can bring it back down, you first need to attach a press with a pulley. That's all we're going to do now is attach our pressing. Make sure your pressing is nice and tight. You don't want your pulley to be hanging real far low. You just want it to be right at the end here. Through the pulley, you're going to attach your climbing line. You need to make sure you do this before you pull the rest of your rope back up because otherwise you won't be able to install your climbing line. Once you have your prusik knot and you have your climbing rope through the pulley, make sure you have a midline knot right below your prusik. This is a circus bowl. Once you have your prusik knot and your midline knot set up, pull the end of your rope the rest of the way back down to you. Now that you have your other end back down to you, take the opposite end of your access line and tie a self-cinching knot with a carabiner on the end. Take your rig and follow the instructions and put it on the rig. Lace the access line through the device. Close it up. Going back to the other end of your access line, reach up as high as you can and tie a self-cinching knot. Take the other end the carabiner. Stick your carabiner through the end of your knot so you can zip it. Then you just take the slack out of the running end of your access line. Then for added security, you're going to take a loop in your access line and tie a half hitch. Now you're just going to bring that over, take a carabiner, Clip it right in to your snake anchor. Now it can't come out. Now on your climbing line, you're going to set up your traditional DRT system. This is a foot ascender. Moving up, we have a knee ascender, which clips up under the bridge to your chest box. All of these are going to clip into your access line. On your access line, you also have a pair of hand ascenders. Once you have all your gear clipped in, you're just going to push up with your hand senders, take a step up, take another step up. In the beginning, it's going to be a little difficult because in order to tend slack, you need to have weight on your axis. But once you get going, it'll be just fine.
system is a lot quicker and easier than most traditional climbing systems. Now as you can see, I'm missing almost all the gear that I went up with. I abandoned all of the gear on the top of the tray. All you do is come over, you unclip all your safety, untie it, and now you can just lower it all out of the trick.